So a package arrived today, an eBay purchase. It's something that I'm being uh, trying to get a few of now before I think the price is going to start to rise and have started to rise on these. So got a nice little well packaged item. Cardboard. I do like it when people package stuff in a bit of cardboard. I have to do the same in here. We have two baggies, Perth Mint coins, 2009 Koala, and a 2011, I believe. Yeah, a 2011. I do have a couple more Koalas on the way. So it will just leave me probably needing the 2007 and the 2008 to be up to date with these. £47 including postage for both of them. Not a bad price. Cost This one cost slightly more and this one was slightly less. Obviously both from the same seller. So yeah, really uh, happy with this uh, purchase. So yeah, so we have the 2009. Quite good condition. Looks very good indeed. All outs. Do you like this kind of finish on it? This uh, finish looks absolutely stunning. So I'll probably get these out in a second and run them down the old CCT slide. On the queen side. And then the 2011. I do like the Perth Mint coins, obviously having the capsule and definitely these koalas are one set that you could possibly back collect because as I said they only go back till 2007, they are getting nicer and nicer and some of the early ones are nice as well, so I think I have 2012 and a 2010 on the way, so I'll Put the video up when of those ones have turned up yeah so let's sort it out and stick them down the old cct slide so there we have it set up the old cct slide so let's give these a quick little down the slide oh yeah looks good so there 2009, nice controlled slide, and the 2011, oh yeah, definitely uh, very good, so all's good, I'll have to get out the Koala collection, so obviously I'm just looking out for a 2007 and a 2008, they're the hardest ones to really get, I think the 2008 in particular due to the uh, mintages the mintage of the 2009 is about 300,000 something like that I think this one's like loads of them 600,000 but obviously with the limited mintage now and stuff you could see these rising as well as they become more collectible so I really do like the koalas I do really tend to lean towards Perth mint coins at the moment I believe I've got a Dragon and Phoenix on the way as well, so hopefully that may uh, arrive tomorrow. Not an error one, they seem to be going for quite a bit and missed out on a few. As I just won't pay over a certain amount of price even if it is an error. Package came today through the post and inside was a little coin. Get into this a little bit. I may have zoomed in a bit much. I did open the package earlier and had a quick little look to make sure the coin was okay. Obviously it was an eBay purchase and all checks out all right. Let's probably see what it is. Dragon and Phoenix from the Perth Mint 2017. Still waiting for the other couple of koalas. 
Hopefully they should come at some point. But yeah, using the phone to zoom in, give you a good view of this. So yeah, these um, do seem to have a, a recoin about 2017. It's a one ounce, four nines, which is a new thing, the Perth Mint. Uh, doing now a lot of mints switching over to four nines slowly but surely i don't think it actually makes much difference to the actual coin but yeah as you can see kind of like here that's where the error is and sometimes there has been an error reported up on this bit here so yeah this one doesn't seem to be any errors i wouldn't have thought which kind of good dragon collection to get one that's not got an error so I may consider getting one that has a error if I can pick one up at a reasonable price. Otherwise, well, you can forget about that because um, it's not a necessity for me. But I just wanted to get the one for the Dragon Collection. Pick this up at a reasonable price on eBay at auction from a reliable seller. And I do like the design. Obviously, I collect the Dragon. The app that comes with the actual um, camera is um, limited to a certain extent, um, in the fact that it only has certain options like, you know, basic zoom and recording, and you can change over from the different modes and stuff, but you can't use the spot focus. So I'll try and get into this a little bit closer. So look at the queen sign quickly. So you know, I think any scuffs probably on the actual capsule, but I could get it out. But um, I haven't got my gloves at hand today. But yeah, we don't really care about the queen side. I only care about this side of the coin to to the tree. And the other thing came through the post today was this from the postcard. Yeah, I'll do it like that. You can't see my uh, name. So I've got this uh, postcard. One of the Perth Mint, obviously. I have bought stuff from the Perth Mint. Usually, generally gold, as I probably get stung with the VAT and raw mint. I'm only too happy to rush you up because they bang on their £8 something fee administration cost. It's silver, so but gold, no VAT on gold, so it doesn't cost you anything to import that. So if I do buy anything direct from the Perth Mint, it's always uh, gold. So these are just some of the releases that they have, I guess, this month. So nice little card all the way from Australia. Yeah, so quite stunning coins, all in all. Very happy with the Perth Mint. products I don't think you can actually get better than the Perth Mint for actual quality and reliability they release the mintages quite quickly as opposed to other mints yeah, so that's where the actual um, error one is so I could probably take it out of the actual capsule but I like a dragon what a dragon it is I managed to get the macro back on so hopefully we should be able to get a good shot using the macro and let us see absolutely stunning then we have the dragon. I do like the polish and the matte finish. Always around the thing of fire. Very impressed with the actual camera. Now these obviously got a mintage of 50,000. I keep meaning to maybe make a big order. I keep just buying little things that I find at good prices without the postage funds should be getting back on track soon be able to do maybe a bulk buy at some point later this year but 
I guess we'll have to actually see well, what's going to happen. But a lot of people are liking this coin as well. It's a thing with um, mintage of 50,000. Um, and obviously there have been error coins. So um, there do seem to be quite a lot of error coins out there as well. Um, I'm not saying it's a huge amount. I don't actually know how many. Could mean there's less of these around as well. So that could be, you know, something that when these are all sold out could actually increase the value of these ones as well being actually less than 50,000 off. I may get some more if I place a big order. Other package that I mentioned earlier in the uh, other video has arrived. So I've got this from uh, Charles. So, yeah, got a couple of things in here. I haven't got my scissors with me today. So we'll have to do it the old fashioned way. But in here should be a couple of more koalas and something else. Put that there. Got these at a pretty good um, price. Another two and a half ounces to the stack. So we have a 2010 koala. Quite nice this one. Do the like uh, design of that. Oh, it's probably not the best today, but nevertheless, pretty good coins there. And uh, 2012 Koala. But these ones sometimes are a bit harder to get hold of, the 2012s, but got this at a good price. I think they were 21 95 so a half ounce. Because obviously could get £3 postage. I think they work out about just over £23 each. And the other thing I picked up was a half ounce Year of the Dragon, Perth Mint, to go with the one ounce and the two ounce that I have. So just a five ounce and a ten ounce to go in these. Maybe a kilo, I'm not sure. But so everyone's seen the little half ounce, but have been after one of these for a while and they do have them at not a bad price so I added that to my cart as well just to obviously make up the postage I do plan to obviously go there I have a friend who lives in Preston it's not far from where they are in Blackpool so I may pop in when I go and visit him but yeah I really do like this uh, 2010 seem to be quite popular these ones the 2010 try and get a zoom into this and a close look at this koala definitely a good looking coin this one I do like the different colorations and obviously Queenie 2012 Half ounce uh, dragon. So you do carry quite a little bit of a premium on these half ounces, but I managed to get this one at a reasonable price, I think. Delivery was good from Charles. Well, one day after, kind of, I bought it late in the evening, so it got posted that day, came kind of the next day. Stunning little coin, this one. And then we have obviously the 2011. So that's a 9, 10, 11 and a 12. As I said, only the 2007 and the 2008. I'll be hopefully picking up some silver or some gold, but I need to get obviously some 2017 koalas. So, but I'll be looking out for a 2007 and a 2008. Four koalas. And two dragons. So five and a half ounces added to the stack this week hopefully I'll add maybe as I said another 15 ounces of silver or I might get a quarter of gold instead um, haven't quite decided depends on the price seems like it's moving up again so I may hold off bide my time for a little bit see what happens I'll have to get the others out for the set but it's uh, one set that I thought maybe I could complete this set or even if I don't get a 2007 or a 2008 for a while, apart from those I'm up to date 
16s and the 2017, which I haven't got at the moment, but obviously I've picked those up um, from goldsilver.b. Those that don't know, that's a good place for us in the UK to get our um, silver. I used to use silver to go. Yeah. Obviously I haven't bought these from from there. I buy them, my current coins from there because they are one of the cheapest places in Europe but with the postage you do need to buy probably about eight and a half ounces minimum to make the postage worthwhile but you know if you buy 15 20 30 it's going to cost you roughly the same amount of postage so the more you buy the more you can save probably trying to get an order from there but obviously with the dip in the pound and certain things as well it can cost a bit more but as I said if you use transfer wise rather than your bank or that cuts down the costs again but things can be picked up here um, older coins on the secondary market I may buy some more of these I think the koalas are going to do better moving forward I think they're kind of under undervalued at the moment and can be picked up clearly at reasonable prices but they are selling some of them for a lot more than I thought they probably would but um, obviously the 2008 is the lowest mintage of them all and the 2007 sold more my little stands are coming in handy for doing my videos as you can see I do like this camera as I said I'm actually moving the tripod at the moment these are the sort of things I pick up you know and as I said if I was to buy say these coins from gold silver dot B some of them are more the 2012 so I've actually paid um, but the current coins or certain I picked up uh, 2014 koalas at a good price earlier in the year but obviously if I was to do the postage which is kind of like getting on for 20 or 18 euros depending if you buy I think over 8.5 ounces you get the postage reduced to 18 euros couldn't get these 2012s or the the 2009 as I said I picked this one up quite a good price and the 2010s are a lot more on there so it pays to look around and shop around for older coins and if you can pick these some of these up at good prices with a bit of equity in them I think it's a no-brainer really um, but as I said it's I don't really uh, back collect series on a whole but if I can pick up these at a decent enough price then I will and I have done koalas a lot of people have been picking them up within the community as well um, back collecting because as I said they only go back to 2007 so I have to keep my eye out thanks for watching like comment and subscribe and see you all later